So you want to know the best way to play with FC Bayern Munich in FIFA 20? Well, that's great because I'm going to show you that in this video. My name is Mark and welcome to my channel. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you like videos like this, like tutorial kind of videos, uh, the best way to play with specific teams, all FIFA 20 related stuff. Make sure you will subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any new videos I'm posting. Uh, I would really appreciate if you would leave a like under the video to really help me and my channel. And if you have to say something, want to ask me something, drop it in the comment sections below. In this video, I'm going to show you the best way to play with FC Bayern Munich in FIFA 20, in my opinion. Of course, uh, I'm going to show you the best lineup, the best formation, the best tactics and the best instructions. So make sure you will watch the whole video. Take all the information I gave you uh, so you don't uh, miss anything. And hopefully it will help you to win more matches when playing with FC Bayern Munich. So let's start with it right now. So first I'm going to show you uh, some examples from matches I played. I played here against uh, someone who was playing with Liverpool. And here we have Thiago on the ball and Gnabry, good combination to Lewandowski, one-on-one -on, -one on the goalkeeper. And that's a goal, of course, for this super striker, because in my opinion, he's one of the best pure strikers there is in real life and also in this game. Then we have Gnabry, he's like a speed monster, really fast, of course, great chip shot. And there it is, the second goal against Liverpool, uh, one of the best teams in the game. Bayern München is also a really good uh, team, but Liverpool is a bit higher level in my opinion all players are a bit better and uh, yeah well this this was a really great result I played a few matches with Bayern Munich this way I'm gonna show you that and it was really lovely to play with them this way so I showed you this two goals as an example how you could play with them and now I'm gonna show you all the information uh, the formation is a 4-2-2-2 formation now we're going to the lineup. Neuer is the goalkeeper, of course. At the right side of the defense, we have uh, Kimmich. Uh, the center backs are Sule and Hernandez. And the left defender is Alaba. Then the central defensive midfielders, Thiago is one and Goretzka is the other one. Then we're going to the right attacking midfielder, it's Komen. The left one is Coutinho. And then two strikers, of course, Lewandowski and Gnabry. Then we are going to the tactics. I choose press after possession loss with a width of six bars and a depth of seven bars. The offensive style is balanced with a width of eight bars because it's already a pretty narrow formation. You don't play with wingers or something. So I like to put it really wide when you have the ball. So the right and the left cam are a bit playing like a winger, especially Komen is, because by nature he is a winger. Uh, Coutinho isn't that fast, he's not a real winger, he can play on the wing, but he's not a real winger, or of course, not, not, a net, uh, not a classic winger, fast and stuff, he's more like a playmaker in my opinion. So he is playing more uh, in the center, but Komen is really playing like a winger with this uh, settings. Uh, then we are going to corners, three bars, free kicks, both three bars, but it doesn't matter for the tactics at all. It's just your own preferences, but mine are just three bars. Then we are going to the instructions. Uh, Sule, he is just default. Uh, let's go to Kimmich. Stay back while attacking, so he's not running forward all the time. Sule, I already said, he's just default, and Hernandez is just default, and Alaba the, stay, the same. Stay back while attacking, so he's not running forward all the time. And that's because you don't play with a real classic central defensive midfielder like Kante or Casimiro or uh, Fabinho. They are real classic, good defensive midfielders but Thiago and Koretska Thiago is more like a playmaker Koretska is more like a box-to-box -box player for me so not a classic uh, ball recovering uh, central defensive midfielder and that's why I like Kimmich and Alaba to stay back while attacking else you will be too weak in the defense so then we're going to Thiago cut passing lanes stay back while attacking and cover center so I try to play him like the defensive midfielder he doesn't have the stats for that of course but he needs to stay back else you are too weak on the counter attack and with his passing he is really wonderful 
uh, playing like a, uh, a playmaker before his own defense like Pirlo did in his good days. So that's the uh, thought about the instructions for Thiago. Then we are going to uh, Goretzka, cut passing lanes, stay back while attacking also, but because his work rates are uh, high attacking, so we will make runs forward uh, anyway, but with the stay back while attacking, uh, you need to, uh, yeah, you, you instruct him not to do that all the time. So, uh, coffee center is the defensive possession. Then we are going to Komen. Only thing I changed for him is get into the box for the cross. So when someone is going to cross the ball, he will be in the box. So he's an extra option to score the goal. The same for Coutinho, get into the box for the cross. Uh, then we are going to the strikers, Lewandowski, the only thing I changed for him is stay central. So he's not running forward all the time. Uh, Gnabry is going to do that, I'm going to show you that later. But uh, he's also available when you are playing possession. So he will drop back a little bit, make himself available. So you can pass the ball to him and he can pass the ball to Komen or to Coutinho or maybe a through ball to Gnabry. Or when there isn't an option, you could play it back to Thiago or Goretzka. Um, then Gnabry stay central and get in behind because he is fast, of course. Uh, he will make lovely runs, uh, splitting through the defenders of your opponent. And when there is an opportunity, give him a through ball like I, uh, like I showed in the example before. Give him a through ball, he will run one-on-one -on, -one on the goalkeeper and you can score the goals like that. So stay central and get in behind for him. Well, that's it. That's the end of the video. I really want to thank you very much for watching, of course. Please drop a like under the video. If you didn't do that yet, it will really help me and my channel. Uh, if you are new and didn't subscribe yet, make sure you will do that also, so you don't miss any new videos I'm posting. And if you have to say something or want to ask me something, drop it in the comment sections below. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.